I keep saying to myself every day, like, this is really mine. We really are here. Like, I drive down the street all the time, like, yeah, this is our home forever. Like, this is where we were meant to be. So what would you say to the new Habitat families? Soak everything in, because it's really, it's a one in a lifetime experience. How long have you been at your house? We moved in April of last year, so it's almost a year. Okay. Actually, March 31st will be the year that we've signed and are moved in. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're getting getting on that year mark. It's exciting. How long have you been in your home? Six months, seven months. Seven months. I've been in my home for seven months. Yeah. The kids enjoy it? Yeah. I was telling Jen that they get along so much better now. Because because they have their own personal space and not everything is a mess and everything has somewhere to go. Yeah. And like their relationship has gotten really good, but my relationship with them has also gotten really good. Yeah. How old are all of your siblings? The youngest one is nine. She turned nine in January. And then I have uh, 12, 13, 17, and 18. Okay. I have a 17 year old, she'll be 18 when she graduates. Then I have a uh, Keegan is 12, he'll be 13 in September, and then Jeremiah is, will be three in May, and then I have uh, Matthew will be two in July. So. I did end up fencing my yard for my dog. Oh, okay. So he goes back there when it's not rainy or anything. Good. He loves it, he goes crazy. <laughs> uh, what kind of dog did you have? A Shih Tzu. Okay, yeah, we, uh, when we moved in we got one cat, and then the kids are like, well, he needs uh, he needs another friend. Yeah. So then <laughs> we went back and got another one. So <laughs> we acquired two cats in the move, but they enjoy it. So yeah. it keeps them busy. So what's one thing that you love about your home? I love everything. <laughs> I can't just point it out to one thing. I love coming home and just being able to chill with the kids. I love cooking. I love being able to sit on my couch and watch TV. I like the space. I like, what don't I like? <laughs> yeah, I agree. The one thing I love most about my home is the love that's in there and that um, it's mine. I can just call it mine. Anybody can come over and I can be like, this is my home. This is what I work so hard for. Sometimes I pass by my house too when I gotta get to the other side of town and yeah. I'm like, that's my house. <laughs> it looks so pretty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm very prideful in my house. Me too, yeah. yeah. I know my mom would be really proud. I think about her all the time. And I just know that if she would have been living with us, she would have made the place even more brighter. Who yeah. lit up with love. Yours is your mother. Mine was my father. He passed away unexpectedly a couple years ago. And so for him, he always wanted us in a home. So I think about it like all the time, like he would be so proud, like we're home, like we've, we've made it home. So for him, I think about you a lot too, because I was like, they would be so proud of us both. Just we've done it, like we made it. I'm so grateful to Habitat because if it wasn't for, for them, like I would still probably be looking for a house for me. And yeah. The kids. They made it me having guardianship over the kids an easier process with getting the house. I have a lot of gratitude because if it was not for Habitat for Humanity, I don't think I'd be in the place that I am today with a new home. The classes that Habitat offers, um, especially like the budgeting or the maintenance part of the classes that they show you, like to me that we never really got that in school. Like, I mean, they teach you some stuff, but like to say this is like a budget and this is what it's gonna need to be like, for me, that was the biggest thing that I brought out of the Habitat classes was being able to budget. Yeah, I think you know, I absorbed a little bit of everything with the classes and I put that in my everyday life when it yeah. comes to budgeting, when it comes to maintenance with the house, all that. Yeah. What would you say to the um, Habitat families that are now starting? Um, some words of wisdom that I would tell them is you just got to jump in full force. Like for me, I, I had the summer off, so I jumped in and just started sweat equity hours. It's hard but it's so worth it at the end just to keep pushing don't take your eye off the prize which is the new home 
seeing other families in their homes, I feel like it's been a blessing to them and I know what I'm going to be able to look forward to, you know, with Sweat Equity Hours and just talking and just realizing what you have that's in front of you. It just gives me so much happiness. I, I can't wait for it to be me and my kids and to look, you know, watch them get in their homes and, you know, it just gives me a lot of, that's gonna be us one day. There are days you just wanna drag your feet literally, but after that day, you just keep going and going and going because at the end of this, it's a reward. I definitely didn't know I was gonna get accepted, but I also prayed about it and I'm also very thankful that I'm here in this place because it's definitely been a life changer for me. I think I've worked most with Jen during this time when I first applied. Postpartum was really bad on me and she she's she just noticed that hey, you know, Maisha, what's going on? And I kinda just vented to her and She, uh, she's helped me through that, and, and it, it, I'm very grateful for my experience because at that time I felt like I'd have anybody, but I could come here and I could feel better that I have people to call family. It's gonna open so many new doors. For me, um, I just feel like, again, I'm 32, and I feel like I'm just now starting my life with my new home. And for my kids, oh gosh, it's everything that I could ask for. They've always begged me, you know, all the time, their mom, when are we going to get a house? Mom, when are we going to get a home? And I would tell them, you know, mom's trying, but it's it's not easy. And I remember the day I told my kids, we got the home. They were just, it was everything. Um, I finally felt like I'm finally giving them what they deserve in life. And that's a home to grow up in and stability.